In this video, we're going to look at trig and bearings. Here's the question. Point B is due south of A. What is the bearing of C from A? So what it wants us to uh, work out is this bearing here of C from A. What else do we know? Well, we know that B is due south from A. So this angle is 180 degrees. So if we can work out this angle, we can take it away from 180 to to use that to work out our bearing. So now let's do the trick beforehand. So the first thing I, I would always look for is if we know two sides of the angle between them. We don't in this case, but what we have got here is an X. So we're going to use the sine rule to work out that angle at A. So the sine rule, remember, is a little a, that's the side over sine A, where capital letters are angles. B, side B over sine of the angle B. So let's put in what we know. We don't know, uh, so we do know what A is. That's the side opposite the angle A, so that is 25 over sine, and we don't know the angle A, that's what we'd like to work out. Uh, little b is uh, 20 over sine, and the angle B is 30. So we need to get sine A on its own and at the top. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to get at the top by cross multiplying. So we're going to move that up there and the sine 30 onto the other side. So we're going to get 25 sine 30 is equal to 20 sine A. And then to get sine A on its own, I'm going to divide both sides by 20. So we're going to get sine A is equal to 25 sine 30 over 20. And if I put that into my calculator, I get that sine A is 0 0.625. Now I need to find out what uh, sine, uh, so what A is. So I'm going to take the inverse of sine to both sides and put into my calculator inverse sine of 0 0.625. And that comes out as 38.68 degrees. So looking back at our um, uh, diagram, the yellow, no, sorry, the, the green angle is 38.68. So to work out the blue angle up here, to use to get my bearings, then I take the green angle away from 180. So what I'm going to do, my last thing is I'm going to do 180 minus 38.68. Put that into my calculator and get 141.32. So I'd say the bearing of C from A is 141 degrees. Here's the second example of trigs and bearings. So we've got lots of information. It wants me to find the distance uh, DE, but the first thing I'm going to do is look at this information and put it onto my diagram. So the first thing is the bearing from E to F is 280 degrees. So uh, the bearing from E, so I'm going to start at E, and I'm going to go clockwise round from north, so this angle here is 280 degrees. And the bearing of F from D, so there's D and that's F, so start at north, go clockwise, so that was 0, 15, a bearing, so that angle there is 15, and it would like me to work out this distance here. Okay, so it's telling me a little clue Find the angle DFE. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a north line in here at F. So there's my uh, north line at F. Well, why am I doing that? Well, it's because with the other two north lines, they're all parallel. They're all going to uh, north. So I can start using some of my angles in a parallel lines rules. Okay. So let me go about and I'll show you. So around E, we know that there's a uh, bearing of 280 degrees. So that means the remainder of E is 80 degrees because it's got to add up to 360. Now, if I just extend this north line down a bit, down here, using the fact that I have got a Z angle being created, this part of that angle is 80 degrees. Likewise, I also now have a Z angle with the angle at D. So we know that this part here is 15 degrees. So the whole angle, DFE, is 95 degrees. 
So what I've done there is just draw a simplified uh, version of what we know. We've got the two sides, 10 kilometres, 30 kilometres, and we've worked out that DFE is 95, and now we need to work out what DE is. Now, first thing I always do for a non-right angle trig question is see if I know two sides and the angle between, which I do, therefore I can use the cosine rule. So in this case here, first obviously write out the cosine rule, so that's a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Let's sub in the values we know. So we have got uh, 10 squared plus 30 squared. Let's give myself a little bit more room here. Uh, then take away 2 times 10 times 30 times uh, cos of the angle 95. Now I would put that all into my calculator and we would get, so we would get that uh, a squared is equal to 1052.29, etc. Et right, and then we square root that to find a. That's square root 1052.29. Remember to use the exact number that's in your calculator, not the rounded one, and you would get 32.439. So looking at our bit again, A in this case is at DE. So DE is 32.4 kilometers to three significant figures.